Oh, uh, La Familia. It's your boy, Ultimate Champion. And today we've got a face off video. So we've got two mega boxes here. We have our Gypsy Queen mega box from uh, 2020. And then we have our Heritage mega box, also from 2020. So this is a Walmart exclusive. I bought this at walmart.com. And this ran, I want to say this was like 30, around almost $40. And also got that uh, from Walmart for $40. Uh, so Gypsy Queen, uh, if you look here, right, we've got 10 packs plus two bonus packs of exclusive silver uh, parallel cards. Right? And let's see. So and then here's your odds on the back if you want. All right. And then facing off, of course, we have our Topps Heritage. I'll show you that. Look for exclusive 101 Super Fractors. I actually have a 101 Super Fractor uh, I pulled from a mega box of 2020 Topps Heritage. So, and that's a Christian Yelich. So, 138 cards. Plus, what we're really excited about is there is a pack of Topps Chrome. So, we get three Topps Chrome cards. So, uh, if I'm going to have to pick one from a value standpoint, I'm going to go with the Heritage just because of those Chrome. We have an uh, opportunity to get something pretty decent. And then just because I'm a cool guy, you know, I'll show you. This is the uh, one on one Super Fractor, Christian Yelich. You see there. So pretty cool. I've never obviously pulled the Super Fractor before. So that was uh, a lot of fun. So uh, since I think. Tops this heritage is gonna win. We're gonna start off with Gypsy Queen. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Uh, recording this uh, in the Bay Area, California, during pandemic. So hopefully you and your family are staying healthy. Just got some exciting videos coming up. So, box there Let's move that off camera all right so we're going to save our, our our silver inserts to the end go ahead and set this to the side and uh, let's let's, uh, let's get to ripping so i pulled a fair amount of gypsy queen uh, nothing too exciting uh, i got some autos out of some hobby boxes i'm really hoping to pull a bazooka back. That's uh, that's what I'm looking for to is a bazooka back. So we've got John Means. We've got a Nick Solak rookie card. Javier Baez. Um, Pete Alonso. Tarot of the Diamond. That's an insert. That's one in every four packs, I want to say. Hampson's. They don't have the first names on it. So Garrett Hampson. And Robel Garcia. So let's see. And then we just take a quick look. Let's see. Did we get anything exciting? Bazooka backs. I don't know what the uh, the odds are on a bazooka back. Um, I want to say it's like one in every 81. Uh, base card. Lower. Yeah, bazooka back one out of 81. So, I feel like I'm going to be coming close to uh, 81 uh, packs in this box that I've pulled. i pulled uh, three, I want to say three hobby boxes, so I've yet to get a bazooka back. All right, we got Jess Samarja. It's really, you know, not having the first names, so Ronald Guzman, DJ Zoich. And we got another Terra of the Diamond, Aroldis Chapman, uh, AJ Puck, rookie card. Valoria, and let's see, and we continue to look for the bazooka back. Value-wise, I'm not really sure. I mean, if you get one of the top rookies, you get a Aquino uh, bazooka back. Uh, you know, it might might be worth uh, you know, like twenty bucks or more. Um, Jordan, but I don't care. I just I just want to say I pulled one. Framil Reyes. Nico Horner, Zach Collins, 
Jose Urania, a.k.a. Uh, Public Enemy number one in Atlanta. Bryce Harper. Eric Thames. So, uh, and Bryce Harper, obviously, is not very well liked in the city of Atlanta. Or, for that matter, uh, anywhere else that he goes. Uh, so, I hope you like this video. If you get a chance, please like, subscribe. So, we got some more fun stuff coming up. There's a Soto. Well, so we got a blue parallel coming up. Martin Laureano, Zach Davies, and a Chris Bryant. And that's going to be numbered out of 250. So I'll take a number card any day of the week. Set that aside. DJ LeMayhew, Scott Kingery. So I really hope that uh, this is the first time on camera I've pulled some Gypsy Queen. Really hope I get a bazooka pack. I want to. I'll probably keep buying that Gypsy Queen until I get one. So, all right, Jan Moncada, Michael Brantley, Jeff McNeil, Derek Dietrich, Lucas Giolito had a really nice year last year. Max Keller, so or Mitch Keller, excuse me, sorry. The Gypsy Queen only puts the first initial of the first name this year. So they make it a little bit harder for people pulling packs. Obviously, uh, I watch a lot of baseball back, you know, when we had baseball. So I know a lot of these players, um, but, you know, sometimes you see an M and you think Michael or something. Ahmed Rosario, Patrick Corbin, Jack Flaherty, Rowdy Telez, Tommy LaStella, and Brandon Crawford. So, uh, also another thing that you'll notice uh, with uh, Gypsy Queen, you've got logo swaps, um, and usually you'll see the uh, Gypsy Queen logo will be swapped uh, in the top corner for uh, their, it's like their moon, moon type um, alternate logo. We got a nice Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Um, that's Matthew Boyd, Aloy Menez, Lords Goriel Jr., Carter Keyboom, and Austin Hayes. So, and it's going to let Bazooka back. You just heard a very loud noise outside. My apartment here is right on the street. So, I don't know if it's because of a quarantine or, or what's going on, but people uh, left the drag race down here. So, all right, next we got a Jose Abreu, Steven Matz, uh, that's uh, Anthony Kay, Willie Adamas, and Chris Bryant, Joey Votto. I've noticed that if you pull a uh, parallel, like a, a numbered card, you'd normally get a, a base card of that same player somewhere in the same uh, blaster box or mega box. All right, two packs left on Gypsy Queen. Uh, tell me what you think below in the comments. So far, we got that Chris Bryant numbered card. Uh, we got an AJ Puck, Puck rookie card. Uh, nothing too super exciting in this box. So, there's my boy Ozzy Albies. I uh, personally collect Ozzy. I personally collect pretty much all Braves, which is uh, being a big fan. And then, uh, let's see, Brown, Colome, <laughs> Williams Astadillo. Uh, everybody loves his uh, big round face. Michael Chavis, Rocio Iglesias. So, so far, I got to say, not a lot exciting here. Maybe if we get something big out of the uh, silver parallel, but here's our last pack. So, hold our fingers, maybe we get something nice out of here. I have pulled a couple autos out of some of these. So, so that's a uh, Dario Agrizal, Justin Turner. Jorge Alfaro, Nick Williams, Whit Merrifield, uh, Joe Jimenez. So, and still no bazooka backs. Oh well. That's life sometimes. All right, let's check out our silver parallels here. Like I said, if we get an Aquino, or I think it's like a five, six dollar card uh, last I checked, but it'd be nice to get, you know, something. All right, Aaron Nola. 
It's uh, Hunter Harvey, David Peralta, Yusei Kikuchi, Anthony Rizzo, and Anthony Rendon. So, I guess I've got a bazooka back out of a silver parallel. would be cool. I'll take something. And then, this is our last Gypsy Queen. So, my money's on Heritage winning this thing. So, it feels like it's got a, a fairly solid lead. There's a Keston Hira. Let's see, been at today. What's that? Uh, Trevor Williams, Matt Chapman, Max Scherzer. So, guess Tops will get more of my money if I'll have to buy some more Gypsy Queen. So that I can get one of those bazooka backs. All right, heritage. So this is my uh, my pick to click, picking this to win. You get a lot more cards, so you're getting six cards to a pack, and you're gonna get nine cards to a pack here, and then uh, you just get. I think you get more cards. I think what was it? Twelve packs and now we're gonna go with 15 so definitely a lot more coming out of heritage so hopefully pull something exciting for you guys this is uh, the pack i'm looking forward to so we gotta save that for last you know that game all right i have pulled a metric ton of heritage this year uh just a lot so there are the odds if you care Hopefully we get something fun out of this. Uh, you get Chrome cards. There's OPG backs, the French language backs. I've actually pulled one before. Be nice to pull another one. Uh, they kind of jump right out at you. And then of course you have uh, in Heritage. You have to look for the high number. So uh, the set for one through four hundred is the base set. Four hundred one through five hundred is the short print. So we got Brandon Lau. Jorge Soler, JT Real Muto, Ryan O'Hearn, Ty France, Kevin Pilar. We've got a batting leaders with Christian Yelich, um, Aaron Judge. So, and then we'll take a look at the back and see do we get a 400? Yep. So, Ryan O'Hearn is a short print. So, I don't believe there's any action variations in uh, retail. I think that is a hobby exclusive. So uh, let's go set these off to the side here. All right, next pack. I have pulled a lot of heritage. Uh, I've gotten some really exciting stuff. I mean, I got a super fractor for heaven's sakes, but uh, I also pulled a white chrome trout, which was very nice. So maybe we'll get something fun out of this box. All right, uh, Kimley Jansen, Christian Yelich, Trey Mancini, uh, scratch off. We got a peak performers, Pete Alonzo, that's nice. Uh, CJ Crone, Whit Merrifield, Chris Paddock. There you go. So, let's see. All right. The scratch off game, I believe that's uh, that is from the the seventy one run. So uh, these are nineteen seventy one design on the cards. I want to say that Mike Miner. I think I've seen that before. Um, that's not a short print. So we've got a Mike Miner, uh, Nico Forner rookie, Travis Darno. Hey, well, it looks like we got a Chrome card coming up. So that's cool. Travis Darno, Mike Fultonavich, and Jorge Polanco. Now these are numbered out of nine ninety nine. See there, so that's uh, it's kind of hard to see. Yep. Try not to bump the camera, but yeah, Jorge Polanco Chrome. So we're gonna set that aside. Colby Allard, Zach Davies, Roberto Perez, Brandon Belt. Let's see if we get anything exciting on the back. No, but hey, but just pulling, I mean, I've, I've get, pulled a lot of these mega boxes. I've gone entire mega boxes where there aren't any chrome inside, uh, irregardless of the, the chrome pack that comes. So pulling just a base chrome card, not bad. I'll take anything uh, numbered. So we got Mike Fires, Donovan Solano, 
Jesse Winker, Merrill Kelly, Christian Vasquez, Matt Adams, Jordan Yamamoto, Brendan Rogers, Domingo Santana. So Jordan Yamamoto I remember, uh, had a really nice start last year against the Braves. So that Christian Vasquez is going to be a short print. So we'll see how he does. Uh, if we ever get the season going, uh, you know, Marlins uh, hopefully will, you know, for kind of be a little bit on the upswing for Marlins fans. You know, uh, being in that division, all those other teams is going to be tough. So here we've got uh, Tony Gosselin, Joey Votto, Jacob Stallings. We've got an upside down Yaz. It's cool. I like the flashback cards. Uh, Harold Ramirez. Rowdy Telez, Freddie. Take a Freddie Freeman any day I can get one. Uh, Gio Urshela. So let's see. I like this 1971 design. I really like it a lot more than the 70 design from last year. I thought that, that gray design uh, was just kind of sterile looking. I know the black design, uh, it looks cool. Uh, the negative on that, uh, especially from the 71 cards, is it's really hard to get sharp borders um, because of the black. I, I think they've done a nice job on whatever coating that they have on these cards. Uh, the borders seem to be a little bit sharper. So uh, we got Sam uh, Goddard, Carlos Correa, Nick Ahmed, Francisco Mejia, Got a Tatis, New Age Performers, that's nice. Uh, Tyler Alexander, Jay Bruce, Kurt Suzuki, Logan Webb, and there you go. So, do we see here? Nothing exciting. Right now, I'd have to say that uh, you have a Chris Bryant number card, uh, which is out of 250. So I guess at this point, I'll say that the Gypsy Queen is slightly ahead, unless you just want uh, a lot of cards. Vince Velasquez, Joe Panic, you got Dansby, uh, Jesus Aguilar, Ender, you got two Braves in this pack, Marcus Stroman, Cam Gallagher. So we do have a couple short prints, so that's fun. Um, I think that the what's well, going to kick it over the top, obviously, is going to be that pack right there. It'd be nice to have a whole box of uh, chrome. I, I like just chrome anything. So, we got Gregory Polanco, Tony Walters, Anthony Santander, Ian Kinsler, David Fletcher, Eric Cosmer, Daniel Murphy, Rio Ruiz, Mike Ford. So. Short print here with David Fletcher. And also there's other parallels. Uh, there's um, there's error cards, uh, silver, and you'll typically see, it'll say silver. It'll uh, say there right above the picture on the back what uh, the card is. So if you pull something uh, that's kind of unique. I've yet to pull any silvers. It said the one OPG back, uh, French language back. So we've got Kyle Seeger. Ian Desmond, Darwinson, Hernandez, uh, ERA, ERA leaders. We got a uh, uh, then and now Tony Oliva and Tim Anderson. That's kind of nice. Omar Navarez, Mike Freeman, Andrew Miller, Victor Caratini. So we're just a little past halfway on this box, and so far nothing super exciting. And that's heritage for you. I, I've ripped a lot of it. You know, you'll you'll have a long cold streak where you won't get anything, and you're like, "Why do I even rip this?" And then uh, you'll hit something big, and you're like, oh, "Okay." Uh, Marco Gonzalez, Julio Tehran, Nicky Lopez, Ahu, A Eugenio Suarez, Bubba Starling, Alex Dickerson, Anthony Descalfini, Adam Hazley, Tommy Lestello. So let me know what you think about the Heritage 2020 design. Are you a fan of the 71? Do you like the blacks, black cards, black borders? Or do you prefer 
the 2019. All right, we got Zach Eflin, Justin Turner, Sinso Chu, Andrew Stevenson, uh, Willie Calhoun, Shane Green, Joe Jimenez, Yadier Molina. And so that that shows 400 here, but it is actually not a short print. It's 401 that the short prints start at. So. What do, we, what do the short prints go for online? That I'm not sure. Not, not a whole lot. Maybe a buck or so, uh, depending who it is. I'm sure that the uh, uh, Ronald Acuna is probably a $2 card. Um, they're the action variants uh, are worth a little bit. I think the Acuna action variants is probably like a $20 card. So Jorge Polanco, Ryan Presley, Junior Guerra, Hunter, Albel, Al, Hunter Alberto, Marwin Gonzalez, Rainer Woodruff, Trey Turner, World Series card, and Chris Taylor. So, still looking for OPG back. Uh, we got another short print here. Thank you, Marwin Gonzalez. Marwin did not have a great year his first year um, leaving the Astros going to the Twins. So we got three packs to go. Uh, if baseball ever gets started, hopefully he can uh, pick it back up. Uh, I know the Astros loved him as a super utility player. Miles Mikolas, Archie Bradley, Juan Lagares, Javier Baez. Uh, let's see, an iconic show comes to a close. Ed Sullivan show, Trevor Bauer, Taylor Rogers, Delano DeShields, David Bodie. So. All right. Two packs to go, and then we'll get to the, the yellow card. Right now, I, I, I still have to put, unless you want to go with volume, uh, the Gypsy Queen might be slightly ahead, or it might be a tie, depending on, you know, the, uh, the value of the silver cards versus the short prints. I guess the values are a little bit similar. Uh, Chase Anderson, Ryan Zimmerman. Uh, ERA leaders, Mike Soroka, Jacob DeGrom, Yulmer Sanchez, another one of these scratch-offs, Wilson Ramos, Eric Lauer, Kinta Maeda, Lance Lynn, Chase Anderson, and Ryan Zimmerman, I think, started off. Let me know if you want some of the those... Uh, scratch off uh play cards i got a bunch of those so all right this is our last pack uh, hopefully we get something something nice out of this would not mind pulling another opg back i have uh i ha did have a hot box so i do have a lot of the purple parallels which is a lot of fun so all right last pack jose parasa marcus simeon manny machado starling Marte. Edwin Encarnacion, Danny Santana, Ranger Suarez, and Luis Araya. So we'll take a look at the backs here. See if we've got anything exciting there. So Starling Marte is a short print. All right, there we go. And then finally, we're going to take a look. Our three exclusive. Got Yon Moncada on the back. So uh, we have a Reese Hoskins. It's out of $9.99. Marco Gonzalez. It's a refractor. It's out of $5.71. And Yon Moncada. Uh, overall, I would say both of those were kind of a dud. Really nothing uh, exciting from either one of those. But that is the card game, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we've got some more exciting stuff coming up the next few days. So please uh, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below. Take care. Wash those hands.